That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you have so much love and goodwill I out do. there. You really do, and and to such a degree that, first of all, I mentioned to the crowd yesterday that you were coming on the show, place goes insane, as if I weren't enough. <laughs> and then, um, that's sad. Uh, but when you had a, just a, I guess, a, a signing of some of the DVDs or an, a personal appearance uh, at one of the record stores in Midtown, you know, lines around the block. Thousand people, thousand people showed up. Yeah, it's incredible. Do you find now that because of, you know, what you've achieved in your show business career that you get special treatment? Do people treat you differently now? <laughs> I had a real weird special treatment thing happen to me recently. I had to go get my driver's license renewed. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, in California, you have to take the written test again. Mm -hmm. So I go to the DMV in Hollywood, and I'm thinking, like, I hope I get recognized. I never really think that, but I thought, like, this would be a good place for that to happen. Because it's, it's a long line, and you thought, sure, why not? Why not yeah. get out of there a little faster? So I'm trying to judge this woman and see, like, is she going to recognize me, and I'm kind of deciding, no, she's not. And then I see a guy right behind her go like, and run over and go like, sir, come right this way, please. And all of a sudden, I'm behind the counter where you never get to go. <laughs> and one more second later, he opens a door, and I'm in the bowels of the DMV, where, right. like, you don't even see this area. Right. And he puts me in a little cubicle, gives me the test and a pencil, and I sit down, and he goes, I'll be right back. And you'll be much more comfortable here. And I go, great. This is just what I sure. had in mind. This is what you wanted, so, yeah. I sit down, I, I, I studied for the test, I had a little booklet, I studied very hard. I did the first question, I did the second question, the third question I could tell was a trick question, so I decided I'm gonna come back to this. Right. So I go to the fourth, right. I do the fifth, right. the guy comes back and he's standing over top of me and he goes, you didn't do number three, and I go, yeah, I can tell it's a trick question, I'm gonna come back to that. He goes, C. <laughs> So I immediately panicked. I immediately thought, like, yeah. you know, there's like a hidden camera somewhere. It's like a sting. Like it's going to be some kind of you're like gonna, you're going to be caught cheating. Yeah. Yeah. Celebrity perks, like the DMV, some weird thing. So I go, you know, I'm fine. I, you know, I studied. He goes, uh, E. So the next one, he gives me another answer. I go, oh, great. Okay. Look, I'm fine. You know, I'm, I'm really getting terrified. Right. So <clears throat> I do a couple more. I hesitate for a minute. He goes, B. So I finally finished, I said, okay, fine, fine. So he leaves, I finish the test, he comes back, he grades it. Mm -hmm. I did really well on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he hands me a piece of paper that has all the employees of that particular DMV office with a little box next to each name. And they send a, the paper around going, and Pee Wee Herman's here, if you're interested, and you ch make a little check mark by your name. And he hands me this thing, and there were 60 autographs to do with the DMV office right. address on it. So I had to go home and sign. You know, so it's sort of like autographs. that's the payment for t helping you with the tests that you didn't need any help with. Yeah. Plus, I mean, I did it. Believe me, I did it. I went home and signed them and sent them in the mail because I was afraid if I didn't, I'd, you know, be stopped somewhere and it would turn out my license was fake or something weird. <laughs> yeah, so. That's not my picture. That's a chicken. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, I think you did the right thing. I do, too. Did, really did, did. Um, now... <laughs> They're looking at another world. Yes, they right? are. They're... I'm, I'm, I'm curious about... You know, you've had such a unique career. You create this character that caught so many people's imagination, and 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 you're you're so good at what you do. But did you ever think about what you would have done had you not been an actor? If you had gone a different way, if you didn't go into acting, what would you do? This is going to sound like I'm joking, but this is this is really what I thought I would wind up doing. I grew up in Sarasota, Florida, which is the old winter headquarters of Ringling Brothers, and I always thought I'd wind up in the circus. That's what I thought I was going to really? do. Really? Yeah. What, what did you want to do in the circus? Did you have a specific, like, did you see, okay, this is... I could do a lot of circus acts. I, I could do trapeze, I could do tightrope. Um, see, I thought, I knew you were going to think that. <laughs> did you really, did you practice, I mean, did you, how, how, would you take it seriously? To, when I went you... to circus camp. There's a circus camp? Mm -hmm. As a child, I went to circus camp. About six weeks into the circus camp, we put on a big show. My parents came. They're sitting in the bleachers. And I run out. I got on a little Speedo bathing suit. I'm like maybe 12. Right. I've got like a, I get up on the balance beam. I had a balance beam act. Right. It's a fantastic balance beam act. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen it. Um, and uh, 
I had like fire. I had a ring like that had fire around it, and I blindfold myself and skip through the ring. And I looked out. My parents were like, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was then they knew. You know? <laughs>